Today I'm going to tie another JP special bait fish pattern called the smolt. The hook I'm using is a Gamagatsu 02418 size 8 dot. The thread I'm using to secure the eyes is a Semperfly Nano Silk 3 dot white. First, start the thread just behind the eye and trim the tag for the base. Next, I'm going to add 6mm silver 3D eyes mounted between 85 pound test monofilament. Secure the eyes underneath the hook along the base with figure 8 wraps, whip finish, trim, and add head cement. Next, I'm going to switch to the Simperfly Nano Silk 12 out thread. Wrap the 12 out thread behind the eyes and trim the tag. Next, take a section of the synthetic white super hair and taper the ends. Secure the super hair on top of the straight portion of the hook with edge to edge wraps. Next, take a section of the white polar fiber split it in half evenly and secure it underneath the hook slightly shorter than the top wing. Next, add a section of the ice dub shimmer fringe pearl on top of the hook, slightly shorter than the previous wing. Next, fold the remaining super hair measure you want it slightly longer than the other super hair. Trim on an angle, taper the ends, and secure. Next, add the black polar fiber on top of the hook slightly longer than the previous wing and secure. Next, add the black shimmer fringe over the polar fiber and secure. Next, split the thread, wax both sides, add the pearl ice stub loosely. Add the dubbing twister, double over the thread and spin to secure the dubbing. Brush out the dubbing and switch over to a hackle plier, wrap along the threaded area, pulling the fibers back with your fingers to the base of the eyes. Secure and trim the excess and brush out the dubbing. Next, add the white polar fiber from underneath the hook, slightly shorter than the previous wing and secure behind the eyes. Next, add the white polar fiber along the sides, left and right, and secure behind the eyes. Next, add the olive polar fiber, flatten with your fingers and secure behind the eyes on top. Then add the black shimmer fringe. Add the black polar fiber on top and secure behind the eyes. Trim the excess and secure the entire area around the eyes. Then add thin head cement around the wrap. Next, split the thread, wax both sides, and add the fluorescent red ice dub loosely. Add the dubbing twister, double over the thread, and spin to secure the dubbing. Brush out the dubbing and switch over to a hackle plier, and wrap behind, between, and in front of the eyes. Secure it by the thread and double the thread over, and secure the thread again.
Next, brush out the dubbing and add the white polar fiber from underneath the hook in front of the dubbing and secure. Next, add the olive polar fiber on top, secure, and whip finish. Next, add the black polar fiber on top of the olive polar fiber, secure, build up the thread, whip finish, and trim. Next, take the same thread and secure all the fibers, top, bottom, and the sides in behind the eyes. A dozen or so wraps and trim the tag. Next, take about a dozen of olive crinkle flash and secure it along the side of the wing and trim it shorter than the main wing. Repeat on the opposite side and trim the flash even with the other. Whip finish and trim. Take the red thread Wrap over the white collar, whip finish, and trim. Next, trim the excess wing material sticking out past the eyes on a taper towards the eye of the hook. Add the head cement to the wrap. Next, split the thread, wax both sides, add the silver ice dub loosely. Add the dubbing twister, double over the thread and spin to secure the dubbing. Brush out the dubbing, switch over to a hackle plier, wrap in front of the wing and eyes along the threaded portion edge to edge. Secure it by the thread, double over the thread and secure the thread again. Brush out the dubbing. Next, add the white polar fiber from underneath the hook and add the olive polar fiber on top and secure. Next, add the black shimmer fringe over the olive polar fiber, then add the black polar fiber on top. Next, take two grizzly saddle hackle tips and secure on top on each side of the wing, left and right. Next, take a section of the red polar fiber and secure it underneath the hook for the throat. Have the tips even with the point. Next, trim the excess material into a taper and build up the thread. Whip finish and trim. Add the black thread, build it up, whip finish, trim, and add thin head cement. Once it's completely dry, add the 5 minute epoxy around the head.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and hit the like button to see more fly tying videos.